I used to, I used to have a very um, kind of scientific uh, view when I rejected any kind of religious or spiritual explanation because I never really thought of myself as a religious sort of person. But I have seen so much pain and suffering among autistic people in this country. Um, I see so much suffering over arguments like the vaccine business. And I'm not going to tell you what to believe. I mean, I, you know, certainly if you want to believe or not believe in God, that's fine. You want to believe or not believe in vaccine, that's, that's fine. But what I will say to you is that when you consider that autism in an autistic adult like me, it's part and parcel of who we are. Just as I am the product of my mother and father, autism is a part of me. Now, imagine, and all of you, many of you have grown up in single parent households, um, you know what a destructive thing it is for a mother to come home or a father to come home and tell the child what a total piece of shit the ex is, right? You all know that. So why would it be any different for you to come home and tell an autistic child how much you hate his vaccine-injured condition? For those of you who hold ideas about how we came to be how we are, I would just urge you to consider this. We are how we are. For me, it doesn't much matter how I got to be this way. There is nothing you can really say about how we are to an autistic person that isn't potentially destructive except to say that we just are how we are. And there's two possible explanations. You can either say I'm a man of science and we are how we are because of evolution and natural processes, or you can say I'm a, a man of religion and spirituality and we're how we are because God made us that way, or you can say I'm uncertain and we're this way just because. Those are the good answers and the rest of those answers, you can believe them, but they're hurtful to us. And I would just urge you to be mindful of that.